If you have a budget or low end CPU on your PC and you want to get the best performance out of it, so today in this video I'm gonna show you how to get the most performance out of your budget CPU for gaming. So guys make sure to watch this whole video, this is your first time here, please subscribe, do like and let's get straight into over this video. So guys in the very first step we are going to refresh our windows file. So for that go for your windows search and search for temporary and there you will find out the only temporary files. So open up your system settings. Now inside here you will find out the settings that is story sense. So go for this option and turn it on because this will automatically free up your space, delete temporary file and manage locally available cloud content. So I suggest you to turn on this option for cleaning automatically all the junk data from your PC. After that here you will find that installed app, video, temporary file and document folder. So go for temporary files, check mark on all these boxes that is recycle bean, windows upgrade log thumbnails, microsoft defender and dividers, delivery optimization file, temporary internet file, temporary files, directory shadow cache, windows error report and feedback diagnostic. Check mark on all these boxes and guys simply skip it, that is the download folder because you have some important data in the download folder so therefore simply leave out this box. Now click onto the remove file button. Click continue and this will delete all this junk data and free up your window space. Now in the next step guys you need to download these files on your PC and these are most important applications for optimizing your CPU performance for gaming. So guys this include fan controller application, HW monitor and power control for your power plan and at the end here you will find out some registry settings in the TXT file. So guys once you download all these files on your PC and you can download it from my official website link available down in the description. Now here in the very first step we go to here power control so you need to guys go for this RAR file. Right click here and click on the extract here and extract this folder on your desktop. Open up this folder inside you will find out this fan control.exe file. So guys here is the interface of the fan control application. Now here you will find out this control section there you will find out your CPU fan, pump fan system fans then here you will find out your gpu fans now here is the most important setting which we need to change here that is your cpu fan speed and guys you need to reduce the temperature of your cpu that will automatically improve the performance of your cpu so guys right now the cpu speed on to the 40 percent so go for these three doors and there you will find out this manual control option so check mark on this box and you will find out this slider for increasing or decreasing the speed of your fan also guys here you will find out this hw miniature application so install it on your pc after that here you will find this exe file now again double tap here and also open up this application on the same time on your windows so guys now here you will find out this intel icore your cpu name and there you will find out the temperature section and there you will find out the temperature of your cpu right now so here is the current real time value for the temperature of my cpu the minimum temperature and maximum temperature limit for my cpu right now so you need to check the temperature of your cpu while you're playing games on your pc because it is around on 65 70 80 percent 55 to 60 percent is normal temperature and guys you need to adjust your values around there so therefore guys if you get high temperature so you need to increase the speed of your fan but guys normally and basically you need to set it on the 50 percent and this is the best setting so you will not get any kind of the noise out of your fan and your cpu therefore the best settings i suggest you that is 50 percent fan speed you can increase it if you are getting high cpu temperature now after that simply close out it so guys now the next step you need to open up power control on your pc and guys inside you will find our cpu settings for power profile so go for this drop down and set it on the Britsum high performance because everyone know Britsum is the one of the best power plan for your windows if you are a gamer now click on the make activate and this will change this power plan you can also check it out here the speed of my cpu right now now you need to go for the settings that are the parking frequency scaling heterogeneous policy short thread and long thread you need to guys simply follow the same exact settings on your pc and if you are on laptop so guys you can follow these settings after that hit apply and save these settings now you need to go for this option that is Britsum high performance power profile if this option is not available in this drop down click on the install button and you will install the Britsum performance power plan on your pc now here you will find out this Britsum dynamic boost enable but guys this is the paid option you need to guys purchase this application for enabling the settings 
you can simply set it on the bitstamp high performance hit ok and guys here you can check it out here you need to purchase this application for applying the settings simply leave this option after that now here you will find our show park settings and windows power options check mark on this box after that again hit apply and click ok and guys that's it now you need to go for your windows search search for power open up power and sleep settings go for additional power settings and there you will find out this bit some high performance power plan just go into the change plan settings turn off the settings on never now go for change advanced power settings and now here you need to find the settings that is the hard disk simply turn it off or set it on the zero now go for processor power management go for minimum and maximum processor state and guys simply set it on the 100% and 100% and guys actually this is the reason for having fps drops and stutters while you're playing game so i suggest you simply guys change the settings on 95% and that will help you to fixing the fps drops and stutters on your pc while you're gaming so now simply hit apply and click ok and close these power plan settings now in the final step you will find out this tweaks.txt file so you need to open up this txt file and now here inside you will find that a lot of optimization or tweaking for your registry so that you can follow the settings like go for processor scheduling simply go for your windows search search for registry editor and run this as administrator hit yes after that you need to simply copy this path from here like you need to copy this path from here now go for your registry editor paste it here and press enter this will take you into this directory now you need to go for this option that is win 32-bit priority separation right click here go for modify set it onto the hexadecimal as it is showing here and set the value on 26 now hit ok and guys that's it now follow the next settings like disable windows update delivery optimization you can follow the settings disable cortana follow the settings large system cache follow the settings disable last access so follow the settings on your pc in registry editor so guys now the final the last step we are going to reduce the number of processes running on our pc so guys for that press windows are together from your keyboard and you will find out here this kind of the run window or simply type here ms config and press enter now you will find that this general tab you need to go straight toward the service option and from here click onto the hide all microsoft services this will guys hide all the important microsoft service and you will find out all the third party applications other than your windows important services now from here find out the application you don't want to use so guys simply go for that specific application and guys disable that application from here on your pc after doing it now you need to go for the start application and click onto the open task manager now go for startup apps and here you will find that all the apps available on your pc now you need to disable all the unused application from here like for example here we go to over steam so guys i have already disabled it this also have a high impact on my pc performance so guys therefore make sure to disable all the unused application from startup app also so guys i hope so you love this optimization so please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below and see you again in the next video